Hey everybody, welcome into this Premiere Pro tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. We're going to do some basic video editing tutorials as well as the normal Photoshop and photography and even Illustrator stuff that's coming down the pipe. Let's talk today about graphical lower thirds or just lower thirds. It's graphics like that one right there that just appear on the screen to help maybe identify the person talking or maybe you want to use this to promote your social media channels, whether it's Snapchat or Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, whatever it may be. Let's talk about how to create them. All right, so here I have a project in uh, Premiere Pro, and there's a couple ways we can do this. We can create a title or a lower third in Premiere Pro, or we can use Photoshop and create one over there. I'm gonna show you how to do both ways. First thing we wanna double check here is just the, the settings of our sequence. So I'm gonna select my sequence timeline here, just there, lower thirds, and I'm gonna go sequence, sequence settings, and I can see that my frame size is 1920 by 1080. Just standard 1080p, it's 30 frames per second, pretty basic stuff. Um, let's jump back over to Photoshop here, and I have a sort of complex lower third that I've created here. In fact, I'm going to get rid of web address and Snapchat promo. I'm just going to leave the Instagram promo. One of the things that I want to check on here is image size. So I'm going to go image, image size, and I can see that the first problem I'm going to face here is this is not the right size. So we need to change the width from 2560 to 1920. And that is 1920 by 1080. It's at 16.9 aspect ratio. Great. Hit OK. It's going to size it down. Now, the other very important thing here, when you're exporting your own graphic from Photoshop or even a graphic you downloaded, you need to make sure that all this background is going to be transparent. So go File, Export. Uh, let's choose Save for Web Legacy. And here in Save for Web, you want to make sure that you're saving as a PNG 24. PNG 8 is a little wonky around the edges. Something like JPEG you're going to see gives you a solid white background. Totally useless. So you want to make sure that you go with a PNG 24. Go ahead and hit save. I'll just save this on my desktop. Hey, look at that. I already have something called Instagram promo.png. Yep, let's replace that. There we go. Great. We can uh, minimize Photoshop. Back over here in Premiere Pro, what we want to do is I'm going to use my finder here. I'm on my desktop. I'm going to drag this Instagram hyphen promo.png into my Premiere Pro project bin right there. You can see it shows up. Now, getting this lower third into the video is very easy. I've got these additional video tracks here, video two, video three. You can always right click and just choose to add a track if you don't have one. We're gonna drag this guy and drop it right up there and you can see that it's just gonna appear above the video. I have all the audio muted because it, quite frankly it's annoying to hear it and my voice uh, layered on top of each other. But you can see here if we play the video that at, at a certain point, boom, the lower third graphic just pops up and then bam, it disappears, all right? We're gonna talk about animating them in just a second. I wanna show you how to create your own lower thirds here in Premiere Pro. The disadvantage of creating your lower thirds in Photoshop is like, let's say you have, uh, that, that's a name tag for somebody, right? You're, you're doing a bunch of interviews or it's a documentary film and you have 10 different people who you're interviewing. Well, you would need to create those 10 different graphics in Photoshop. You couldn't just go and you know duplicate a graphic and change like the name in Premiere Pro. You have to keep exporting new graphics from Photoshop, which to me isn't a problem. I'm very comfortable with Photoshop, but maybe you just want to stick it, stick, uh, stick it out. Excuse me, here in Premiere Pro. Here's how you create a lower third in Premiere Pro. All right, over here in the project bin, we're going to go ahead and choose the new item uh, icon and choose title. We're going to make this pretty simple. I'm just going to say title a hyphen Nathaniel. That's my name. So this is the title for my name. Great. Don't worry about it. It's already the 1920 by 1080 size. Everything is set for you. All you need to do is start creating graphics. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab the rounded rectangle tool. We're going to do something a little fancy here. Uh, you know what? On second thought, that's a, a horrendous mess. Uh, maybe Let's just stick with regular rectangle. Why not? Can't go wrong with regular rectangle. Let's create a rectangle about that size. Great. Now over here in the properties, you can choose to change the fill. You could even change the fill type and give it like a gradient or any of these other options. I'm just going to change the color here. I'm going to leave it as solid colored. Hit OK. We've got a black bar that is going to appear. Now we need to grab the text tool and I'm going to type out my name, Nathaniel. D-O-D-S-O-N, Dodson. There we go. This is an absolutely horrendous font. So let's go right there, Bebas, and set the style to bold. There we go. That's, that's more along the lines of what I'm thinking. And let's just set the color of this text to just a straight white. All right, it's going to kind of disappear, but we're going to drag it down here on top of our little graphical overlay, position it just like that. All right, let's create another line of text. This is going to sort of be like, I don't know, it could be a Twitter handle, it could be an Instagram handle, you know, slash whatever for Facebook. Uh, it can be anything. So I'm just going to say at tutvid. That happens to be my, my Twitter and my Instagram handle. So at tutvid, and we'll change this to the font Helvetica, you go Helvetica, uh, Arial, whatever. 
something simple. Up here we have our text size. You can just hover over the number and just kind of scroll it to the left. And you're going to size that down. We can drag this bad boy down here, line it up beneath uh, my name, and voila. Just like that, we've created a very, very simple graphical overlay. Just hit the X icon. It's all saved down here. Now, a quick sort of uh, FYI, if you're doing multiples and you have multiple people and you need multiple graphic overlays, you can't just edit this one graphic overlay and expect it to change. Let me give you an example. So I'm going to drag this out. Let's say we have this title appear here, and hey, we also need this title to appear out here at like 28 seconds, all right? But out here, it's for a woman named Judy or something. So let's we, we double click on this title and we change the name to... Judy, and we don't move anything because we're lazy, and there it is. Great, we've got Judy. Well, the problem is we've changed the actual title itself, so our original title over here is going to be Judy as well. So all you need to do is simply copy and paste your title. Uh, you don't want to keep making changes to your original title because it's going to change every other instance of that title in your Premiere project. So I'm going to undo that, get it back to my name. If you wanted to create a name tag for Judy, you would just select this title, hit Commander Control C, and then Commander Control V to paste it and then you could do whatever you want to this title and it's not going to affect our original i'm going to delete that let's talk about animating this so we've got the the start of our video right here where we would want the name title to appear uh, right now the name title only runs for about three seconds so we'll grab the end of that and stretch it out maybe to like eight seconds something like that it looks good and now to animate it and bring it on screen you go over to your effects panel and under video transitions we have a bunch of different things we can do I, uh, I like to use slides generally. Um, sometimes you might just want to have it appear and disappear with no transition at all. Oh, there's an autosave. Great. Uh, I'm going to grab the slide here, and I'm going to drop it on the beginning of this clip. You can see if I play it, it's going to va -voom, just slide it right out from the left. Now, I can also drag a slide and drop it on the end of the clip, and if I actually click on that slide, I get some effect controls up here. I can select reverse, which is going to sort of slide that little lower third right back from where it came from. So you can see, bring it here to the end, and Zoom Premiere just sucks it right in. Now to do this, you do it. You use these same exact transitions if you're going to be uh, animating a title that you've created here in Premiere for a lower third, or if you're using a graphic that you have imported as a PNG or whatever from Photoshop or really any graphic, uh, graphic design tool or creator. Um, and that's that's basically how it's done. Throw your transitions on there, and you have all these different transitions here under video transitions. You can do so many different things. We can like select this transition, just hit the delete key to get rid of it, and maybe we want it to dissolve. We can throw a cross dissolve on the end there, and then watch. There it goes, just disappears. You can maybe change the length of the dissolve. We don't want it to take so long, so just go ahead and crunch it in, and boom, sucks it right away much faster. So many different options. It's a very, uh, it's kind of intuitive. Once you kind of start playing around with it and realizing, oh, I can just click and drag and select things and, and there's options, it's very easy to figure out. So that's it for creating lower thirds and animating them in Premiere Pro. I hope you've enjoyed it. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, Tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.